Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 10th of 2023 well, it is titled An Annular Solar Eclipse Over New Mexico. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a person in the foreground observing a solar eclipse. And this is a solar eclipse from a little over a decade ago, back in 2012, when we had what was called an annular solar eclipse. Now an annular solar eclipse, first of all, does not mean annual, it is annular as in ring. So it means that there is still a ring of material around the moon visible during the maximum portion of the eclipse. And that means at these times the moon does not appear large enough to completely block out the sun. During a total solar eclipse, the moon would appear larger and completely blocks out the sun, giving us a total solar eclipse. So why would the moon change in size? Well, the moon changes in size, not itself. The moon stays exactly the same size that it's been for billions of years. However, it is in an elliptical orbit. And that means sometimes it's closer to Earth and sometimes it's a little bit farther away. And as we know, when objects are closer, they're going to appear a little bit bigger. And when they're farther away, they will look a little bit smaller. So when the solar eclipse occurs at the time of apogee for the moon, apogee being its most distant point in its orbit, then it will not appear large enough to fully block out the sun. And we will be left with this ring of material from the sun still visible around the limb of the moon. Now we have another one of these coming up and that will be on October 14th. So a little over a month from now and different parts of North and South America will get to see another annular solar eclipse that will be present. So we've got a little over a month before another of these will come. But you have to be in the right place. You have to be along that eclipse track to be able to see the annular portion of the eclipse, meaning that the moon would still pass directly in front of the sun and give us the ring effect that we see. If you're elsewhere, most people in the in those areas will get to see at least a partial solar eclipse. So you will get to see part of the sun being blocked out by the moon. So something to look forward to coming up uh, here in just a, a little bit over one month from today. So that was our picture of the day for September 10th of 2023. It was titled An Annular Solar Eclipse Over New Mexico. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Active Comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.